this time on Tornado Titans. The team is in New Mexico watching storms take shape across the higher terrain. Well, welcome to Vaughn, New Mexico. It's low end day. That's okay. We're about to head south to Roswell. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty chilly. Moisture is very marginal. It's going to be the theme of the day. Could be a supercell, large hill, up to 2.5 inches is what the watch says. Low risk of tornadoes. We're going to go south. We're going to see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. So, uh, New Mexico, you never know until you know. So, we're going to go see. That way. Let's go. Broad upslope flow across the high plains and tablelands of eastern New Mexico is sparking storm development off of the central mountain chain. A solid frontal boundary draped across the region, paired with unstable low levels, is adding fuel to the mix. Combined with strong wind shear, the setup is primed for supercells. But limited moisture means that, while storms will be intense, producing a tornado will be far more difficult. Out there is a severe storm. Got ping pong, ping, ping pong ball size hell. Can't say anything. I'm waiting to see if we can get some lightning or something out of it as well. Haven't seen anything. It's got high flat base. Maybe we should look that way, huh? You can actually see it in the distance. Okay, so you can actually see it back there. Right there. It's trying to develop a wall cloud. So this thing is uh, trying to lower its base, actually. It looks great on radar. It's producing some big, big hail, and it's probably up to golf ball size now. This stuff looks awesome. We'll see what this can do. It'd be the upset of the century if we get a big photogenic cone right out there. You're going to see me run so fast, it's not funny. Take a look at that out there. Look at that storm. High base storm, high base supercell. It's kind of chilly. Kind of chilly out here. So that thing right back there, it's trying to be interesting. Photographical, it's got a nice little building behind it. This storm is beginning to interact with the boundary draped across New Mexico and it's tightening up. Scud is rising into the base, forming a wall cloud. For storm chasers, this is a key signal of organization, a storm lowering its base and pulling in more surface there. In other words, it's showing signs it could be gearing up for something bigger. Yeah, so basically the storm has really developed a wall cloud on it in the last uh, 10 minutes or so. It's pulling up a lot of scud into it. It's starting to look very surface based. The uh, radar shows a good low level mezzo on it. So it's trying to get interesting in a hurry. I did not expect that. <laughs> We're about to find out. Let's see, it's rotating good, but it's still very disorganized. Doing it over there now, too. Rotation has been moderate at times, but this wall cloud isn't quite getting over the hump. There's no strong surge from the rear point downdraft, which usually helps tighten things up. For now, this looks more like a brief uptick, one that may fade as quickly as it formed. Dropping a ton of hailstones on the landscape out there. That black core on radar says it. It's probably pretty stout. Just as quickly as this storm ramped up, it crosses the boundary and loses its tornadic punch. The cell has become elevated, now rooted above the surface layer. With cold, stable air north of the front, the tornado threat drops to near zero. This chase is done. Well, it is cold, raw, 
low 50s. We're done though. Uh, this shell cloud's been just sitting out here for a while. Getting some lightning. Some lightning strikes out of this. Club severe storms, but just enjoying it. These are January storms. These are storms. When I get to January, I want to wish I was seeing this again. It's going to be about the same temperature, but I'm going to be wishing I saw it again. It's cold. It's horrible. But, good day. It's freaking cold. Okay, I'm on the way. It's freezing. We're walking up.